nothing, nothing can prepare you for disappointment. Now it even says on the case here, and it's bigger, better, louder, and meaner, and all that sort of shit. It's more gooder. Uh. Alright, we get the commercial. That's that sign, that's sure, eh? It's very grainy here. And it seems to show the Super Nintendo footage. That's great. So, yeah, that means that the Sega CD version is going to look just as good as the Super Nintendo version, but it's also going to have arcade quality sound and effects. Sounds good to me. And we get a whole bunch of kids running that, you know, ironically enough, are not allowed to play the game. Yeah, so this one gets a full MA-17 ring on it, where the other one is like MA-13 or where the hell it is. Yeah, one of the big downfalls of the Sega Genesis version, even though it was very awesome translation, yeah, it was the sound quality. I know that's not going to be a problem here on the Sega CD. Oh, and we even got a few snippets of full motion animation. Yeah, it kind of looks like shit, but hey, at least it's here. <laughs> what the hell? It looks just like the Sega Genesis version. I'm no expert on Sega CD or anything, but isn't it supposed to have improved scale on the pets? Yeah, look at that. Barely any blood came up from them. Now, it's still a very good fighting game. Lots of different techniques you can use. The graphics are fine and all, but... If you're expecting major improvements from your $200, $300 machine, you know, that's what it was back then anyways. Yeah, you're not gonna get it here. And you have a choice between the cartridge version and this one. I'd say go with the Sega CD version, but it's just not a major enough upgrade to really justify purchase either way. Especially since this one is usually much more expensive. I had to pay $20 for this one where I can usually find the cartridge version for about five dollars easily. Yeah, so that's Mortal Kombat here for a Sega CD. Yep. Released out in 1994, same year as Mortal Kombat 2 on the consoles. And is it working this one? Oh hell no. Yeah, I think there was a good reason why Mortal Kombat 2 didn't appear on the Sega CD. It's because this one wasn't very successful. Yeah, sadly by 1994, I think the rain was on the wall for a Sega CD, sadly. Yeah, if you want a Mortal Kombat game for your Sega CD, this is your only bet. Which actually kind of explains the lackluster effort they actually put into it. Okay, it's a Sega CD. We don't have to work too hard on it. Even though I knew they could have done a much better job than what was actually delivered. And amazingly enough, there was Mortal Kombat 2 on the Game Gear and the Game Boy, but on the Sega CD, no, nope. can't find it. All right, so you get the addition of the blood, so you don't have to unlock no code or anything. And you can watch that stupid commercial again if you like. Who even knows if those kids were just there to, you know, just run around New York City. Hey kids, run! We'll make an ad for more combat. They probably didn't even know it was an ad for more combat. If you're buying this on the Sega CD, you would spend a lot more. But, yeah, you get a lot more load times, that's for sure. 
Yes, load them. Yeah, you better get used to that. Yeah, sometimes the loading times might be quick or pretty slow. So more Combat CD or Sega CD or what the hell you want to call it. It gets a 58 out of 100. Definitely one to avoid. Yeah. And the music is a bit better, but yeah. Honestly, I don't give a shit. I actually got used to cartridge sound effects and music, and it's not too bad. Yay. This is like the 17th version of Mortal Kombat I played. Still not the best one, even though it should be. <laughs>